Yes! Oh, that's how you complain. I've never heard no, anyone no, no. moan no. so much over the last one. You forget, we occasionally get a break. Occasionally, yes. When people come into the house and on All Hallows Eve. <laughs> Good catch, Adam. Thank you. There's a, there's a, there's a. Get it out, Carity. There's a what? There's a mouse. There's a oh. mouse in the cupboard. I was reaching for a stack of papers, and then it scampered across my head. You're more afraid of you than you are of them. Scampered across my head. Calm, my head. calm yourself, everyone. Calm. Cool. Oh, in the kitchen, in the cupboard with the. On the <laughs> Which cupboard? The very tall one on the top shelf. What is it? It's nothing important. It's something that should remain hidden. Give me that. This is that story. That story? What story? It can't be the story. What story? It is. Oh, what story? No need to shout. It is the story Mr. Knickerbocker tells to the children every year around this time. It's just a little story. Nothing important. Why, it's one of the best and most frightening stories. Yes, it is tradition. Every year on this very night, Mr. Knickerbocker gathers a group of village children to tell this amazingly frightening story. <laughs> just before the stroke of it. Hello, I am Jeffrey, and we will be telling the chilling tale of the Headless Horseman in Sleepy Hollow. Gather round as we tell the most horrifying story. Oh no, look at the time. Mr. Knickerbocker will be any minute. Um, hi. I'm Abner. I'm uh, one of the people in the house here who tells a story every now and then. Um, I don't get out much. Um, but one time a year we get to go out and see the world. Um, but... Oh, hello. I didn't see you there. I'm Verity, I'm the new girl. This house is full of mice and secrets, but I'm about to find out the amazing story of the Headless Horseman. Come into the house and listen to our tales. Oh, hi there, I'm Phoebe. Welcome to Mr. Knickerbocker's house. I just wanted to welcome you and I hope you enjoy your time here. We're gonna be telling stories all day and just ignore Joffrey, we don't listen to him either. So just come on in and enjoy your time here. Bye. Hello all, I am the Boot Boy Seth, and welcome to the Knickerbocker Manor, where every year on Halloween we get to tell the best and most frightening story of Sleepy Hollow and the Headless Horseman. I get to be Mr. Ichabod Crane with his lonely, lovely self. We really do hope you enjoy the story. What? Ah, oh, Jeffrey. Sleepy Hollow at the company on stage! In the dark shadow of the grove, on the margin of the brook, he beheld something huge, misshapen, black, and towering. It stood very still and seemed to gather up gloom all around it, like some gigantic monster ready to pounce upon the poor shook up crane. This can't be good. The hairs on my neck are standing on end and I'm filled with a chill. What am I to do? I can't outrun such a ghost, if that is indeed what it is. Just then the shadowy object slowly began to move, and with a scramble and bounce stood in the middle of the road. It appeared to be a large horseman mounted on a black and muscular horse. The horseman then clip-clopped to the side of old gunpowder and the shaken crane. 